In this video, we use TensorFlow to perform automatic differentiation. Let's get right to it. All right, in the preceding video, we used PyTorch to calculate dy dx, the derivative of y with respect to x at x equals 5 for this function y equals x squared. And now we'll do the same thing in TensorFlow. So we import the TensorFlow library. And then we start off in the same way as we did in PyTorch by initializing a scalar tensor with the same value, of course, the same five as we had in PyTorch. But from there, the similarities end and we do things differently. So in TensorFlow, you start this with statement in which we track the gradient tape. So it doesn't happen globally like it does in PyTorch where we track the gradients globally. Instead, we track those gradients simply within this width. And you just always start off the gradient tracking with this gradient tape method. And the convention is to call it T. And then within that width statement, we use the watch method to say what variables we'd like to track the gradients on in the same way that we use the require gradient method to do that and set the require grad equals to true on the X tensor in PyTorch. That's similar, it's analogous to what we're doing here by watching it. So we're gonna track the forward pass on that X tensor, and then we pass that X tensor into this simple function Y equals X squared, just as we did in PyTorch and as our equation says we need to, and that's it. So execute our with statement, and then in order to get the slope of some variable with respect to some other variable, in TensorFlow, we use this gradient method and we pass in both of the variables that we're interested in. So in this case, we're interested in dy dx, and so we pass in y and x into our gradient method and that spits out for us 10, the same answer that we got in PyTorch and the same answer that we got when calculating the slope of this curve at the point where x is equal to five by hand. Cool, so as usual to me, PyTorch feels much more intuitive and Pythonic than TensorFlow. This is kind of a bizarre way of using Python. It doesn't feel very intuitive to me. It doesn't feel as fun as doing it this way in PyTorch. And so we are primarily going to focus on in the rest of this machine learning foundation series, executing our code examples of machine learning, of calculus. Anytime we're differentiating with Autodiff, we'll typically use PyTorch. Although I'll often as exercises say, hey, we just did it in PyTorch. If you'd like to as an exercise, try doing it in TensorFlow. Mm, very exciting. Now that we're familiar with what Autodiff is at a high level, and we know how to carry it out in Python, in the next video, we'll begin putting the pieces together so that we can apply Autodiff to implement a simple machine learning algorithm. So we will fit a simple regression line. We're gonna do that in the regression in PyTorch notebook, but we've got a little bit of theory to cover before we jump to that.